This is a video from one of our Design and Configure Example Drivebox Solo projects. This particular one shows how you can configure hydraulic cylinders. All the design rules and know-how have been set up in the project already, so that new variations can be created simply by entering our requirements on the forms. This example project, along with several others, is available to download from the Drivebox Solo website. Clicking the Run Specification button launches a new specification. This first form is where you specify the size of the hydraulic cylinder. You can choose the bore size, the stroke size, the rod diameter and the pressure range. If I select a pressure range above 4000 PSI, notice how we have set up the project to show that tie rod supports are now included, and how the image below updates to show this. Next, you can choose the quantity of the hydraulic cylinders to be ordered and whether an additional clevis is required. Because the forms that you create in Drivebox Solo are very customizable, and because you can decide which forms to display, you'll notice that if the clevis has been selected, we are directed to a different form so that we can specify the type of clevis required. On the other hand, if a clevis has not been selected, then this form will not appear. You will notice again how in this project we have used rules to link selections to images displayed on the screen, so that as different clevis types are selected, the image updates to show the relevant one. On this next form, we will fill out contract information for this specification. We can enter details about the individual and the company. If the company has ordered before, then we can select their details from a list. However, if it is a new customer, we can select this option and enter the details manually. The project has been set up to display warning messages to indicate that required information is missing and must be entered before we can proceed. Rules are also used in this project to determine the file names of the new models that will be generated. So the warning messages pop up to make sure that valid information is entered. The rules will not let us proceed unless all the information has been completed. We now see a summary form detailing all the options that we have chosen in the previous forms. We can now preview the model to check that we are happy with it by clicking the preview model button at the top of the solo task pane. The preview generation takes a copy of the master model, gives it a temporary name and puts it into a temporary location. Drivebox Solo then generates the model to the value specified in the project and displays the results on screen. This is useful for taking a quick look at what has been specified and still gives us the option to make changes before committing to the final design and clicking finish. If the model designed isn't completely correct, the values of the model can be changed and the model can be previewed again. Once we are happy with the model, we can also preview the drawings that will be produced with this project. Again, like the model, drawings can be previewed by clicking this button here. This uses the temporary models just created and generates the drawings captured against these models based on the rules created in the project. Notice that each drawing opens and that each drawing sheet and the drawing views are rescaled, resized and repositioned based on the rules set up. If we look at the drawing, you can see that the information from the project has been populated to the borders, the bill of materials has been updated as well as other notes based on information that has been entered on the forms. Drivebox Solo includes a number of template documents which can be updated based on rules set up in each project. We can preview these documents too. In this project there is a covering letter, a quotation, a bill of materials and a document showing all the values entered on the form. Each document can be viewed individually to ensure that correct information has been included. The final document is a report file. This is a really useful audit trail of all the actions that have been performed by Drivebox Solo. So opening up this, you can see that it has driven the custom properties of the drawing and you can see that it has driven all the appropriate dimensions. Any action Drivebox takes will be reported on. This is particularly helpful when setting up your project as it can help you troubleshoot the rules in your project to ensure that they are built and calculated correctly. Once you are happy with all the files that have been previewed, 
Click Finish to allow DriveWorks to finalise all the models and drawings and save them into the file locations determined in your rules. With everything checked in the Finish dialog, all the models and drawings will be saved permanently to their locations. The documents will be generated and all of this will be displayed in Windows Explorer when it is complete. As the model is rebuilt, the temporary file name at the top of the SolidWorks screen is updated to reflect the file name based on the rules in the project. In this case, the file name is built to contain information from the project. Therefore, if this exact hydraulic cylinder has already been generated, DriveWorks Solo will reuse that file. This practice is used all the way through the project. This speeds up the generation time massively, as DriveWorks Solo is simply opening the part, instead of rebuilding it completely. The drawings are also generated, with the general arrangement drawing being rebuilt and saved. However, in this project, in addition to the general arrangement drawing, drawings of some of the more detailed parts and subassemblies will also be generated in the same way. So again, the views, dimensions and annotations will all be repositioned, resized and rescaled, just like the top level drawing. Now that the generation is complete, we are presented with all the files saved into their locations. The main folder is opened and we can see all our top level assembly files, as well as the correspondence folder containing all the generated documents. If we navigate to the main results folder, we can see that the parts we have generated have been added to our standard parts library, ready for reuse next time. In addition to this, the report file will be saved as a drive report which can be viewed retrospectively. So that brings us to the end of the video for our hydraulic cylinder project. Remember that you can download the project yourself, fill out the forms over and over again to design and figure your own hydraulic cylinders. If you have any questions about the video, the project or about DriveWorks Solo, please contact your SolidWorks or DriveWorks reseller or email support at driveworksolo.com.